Hi guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you this week's patient update. I really hope you enjoyed hearing from our rehabilitation intern Caroline last week. She'll be delivering more of these updates so you'll see her next week on the next update. But let's go ahead and get started. First up this week is Great Horned Owl 311 from Riverton, Wyoming. This is the bird that came in with emaciation. And so right now we're working to get this bird back into a healthy body condition. Um, we're able to get this bird onto a much healthier diet right now. Um, basically when a, when a bird first comes in with emaciation, we have to start very slowly with introducing food back into their system. If they start getting fed a bunch of food right away, which is a lot of people's first inclination to do when a bird is emaciated, their body is not able to digest all of that food. Um, and it just sits in their stomach and it tends to rot and um, they're not able to uh, use the energy to that's required to expend in order to digest all of that food. So. Basically, we've been stair-stepping this up um, slowly every day, increasing food amounts, um, having more of a varied diet, and I'm pleased to announce that this bird is now on a very normal diet for a raptor, getting a variety of things like rat or quail, mouse, chick, um, things like that. So really excited that he's on the right track. Moving right along, we've got Golden Eagle 3-9 from Pinedale, Wyoming. This bird came in with a right ulna fracture, eye trauma in both eyes, and some soft tissue damage to the right wing. So as a reminder, this is the one that we sutured up that wound closed. Um, things are healing nicely so far, but typically with this type of fracture, um, he's going to have to be in the ICU for a minimum of five weeks. That's just how long it will take for this bone to um, be a little bit more stable until he's able to move into a better, bigger space. Um, but we just don't want him flying around on that wing until it's um, much more solidly healed. Um, he's doing really well so far. He's got a really good attitude and um, we're really happy to see that this bird is perked up a lot. Uh, these guys don't want to be around us. So um, when they're trying to bite us or dig talons into us, that is usually a good sign. Um, and so we often have to wear protective equipment, such as the face shield that you see one of our volunteers has donned. Um, and that is just simply to protect our face because these guys are smart and they will know to bite towards our jugular and our eyeballs. Speaking of birds with a spirited attitude, that brings us to Great Horned Owl 28 from Swan Valley, Idaho. This is the bird that was struck by a vehicle and dealt with a lot of issues ranging from two broken bones, a radius and a scapula, as well as eye trauma and some soft tissue damage to his elbows. Um, you can even see in this picture here that the pupils definitely don't look the same. This bird's left pupil is a lot smaller than the right pupil. And in this case, the right eye has healed and is back to normal. It's that left eye that still has some, um, residing damage to it. Um, the fractures are slowly healing. Um, we're not sure why the rate of healing for this bird is a bit slower than normal, um, but he's still in the ICU, still has those wing wraps on. We're going to continue physical therapy and cold laser therapy, um, and we're taking x-rays regularly to make sure things are moving along. Last but not least this week is Great Horned Owl 1228. And as you can see, this bird is now out in the flight barn and is flying really well. Um, we're seeing good symmetry with both wings. However, sometimes when he lands, he does fail to tuck his right wing. That will come when, with time when he gets a little bit more strength. Um, so we're gonna continue the flight conditioning. Uh, what we really need to focus on too is live prey testing. So far this bird has failed all of his live prey tests, but that can take some time. So we're just gonna continue with the live prey testing and eventually, hopefully he'll catch some mice soon. All right, that's all we've got for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed learning more about our birds. Remember that if you want to do your part to help keep wild birds wild, you can check out our website at tetonraptorcenter.org and make a donation. You can also click the description below. There's a link right there that will take you right to our donate page. And remember, if you want to stay up to date on all of our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get a notification every time a new video comes out. We'll see you guys next Friday and I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.